everyone, my name's Kaz and I'm back with another lot of unboxings. So I've got three very exciting boxes to show you today. I have, I believe it's the February Fairy Loot and the February Illumicrate boxes, but also the special edition Vardasia box from the YA Chronicles. I have all of the links down below so you can find out more information about the boxes and the prices, things like that, but I also have some coupon codes. So all of that good stuff will be in the description. But first up, let's take a look at the Vardasia box. Now I did get the edition without the book because I was sent a book from the publisher, so this is just the goodies box. Oh, if you don't know, Vardasia is the final book in the Madoran Chronicles by Lynette Noni, but oh god that smells good. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with the great smelling candle because I love, 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 love sweet smelling candles. I'm a huge fan of the fruity ones and any that smell like chocolate or caramel. And this one is vanilla and caramel. The scent is Leandra and this is like a plant that has magical healing properties within the books. So we have this gorgeous candle with gold glitter on it and it smells like sugary heaven. Like it smells so good that you could eat it, but I would not recommend. I don't think that's going to be healthy for you, but it's it's very tempting. It's very tempting indeed. Heaven right here. I'm just going to leave that open so I can continue to enjoy the sugary goodness. Next up, we have a tote bag. Ooh, very nice. So the quote says, today is the day you show this world what you're made of. Don't let them down. It is a thin tote bag, but it's one of the ones that has a, a flat bottom so you can expand it a little more, which is great. I forgot to mention as well, the candle was designed by The Book Hangover, and then I think that this tote bag design was actually from The Wire Chronicles. Oh, I forgot to show you the content card and the bookmark. I don't want to point out too many details about this just because spoilers, but it is a beautiful, beautiful illustration with these floating islands. We have a dragon and there's two little figures here and then the same illustration on the bookmark. These are really, really cute. Oh my gosh. We have these amazing magnetic bookmarks. They are from the Woods Avenues and we have this shadow wolf called Soraya and a dragon, Zaraxxus. Oh, these are so cute. So these are the two kind of animal beastie companions that Alex has within the series. I love them both dearly and I'm so so excited I have them in bookmark form because they are actually so adorable. <gasps> Look at them! Zaraxxus kind of reminds me of Toothless as well and I'm a huge fan of Toothless. I've got a plushie somewhere in my room. That is so cute. And then it's got the little blue flame and then Soraya has like a white paw. It's so cute and all the shadows. Oh it's just so precious. That is oh, absolutely stunning. No way. This is also very exciting. So we have a White Air Chronicles exclusive Raylia deleted scene. It also features the um, Akane Academy crest, which I love. I think Lynette announced, like, revealed this not too long before the release of Vidasia, and I think it's so beautiful, and I'm really happy that's featured on the cover there. But oh my gosh, so what is this? Okay, so I'm not going to obviously go into details because, again, spoilers, but this is like an alternate situation with Alex's parents. So where they are in Raelia and the rest of the series, that's not what happened in this original scene. So we kind of get a glimpse into that. That's really, really cool. Oh, I'm so excited to see how all this went down. So excited I can't even keep a hold of it. <laughs> The last goodie item we have is a gorgeous print of the map of Medora. That's so cool. Oh my god, look at the little... Is that a wolf? It looked like a wolf like roaming around in the woods. And we have Maya, Akane Academy, Danasa. I think those are all of the items that were included in this special edition box for Vardasia. Thank you so much, The White Chronicles, for sending this my way. I'm really, really excited. I really enjoyed reading this series and the last book as well. And I'm just... Damn! Moving on to our next box, we have the Illumicrate box. Dun, dun, dun. The content card got a little bit bent up, but that's all right. That's not super important. Oh my gosh, we've got some really cool looking items in here. I'm really excited to dive into this. Oh, where to begin? Oh my gosh. Okay. So first up, the theme for this month is gods and monsters. So we have this cool little purse pouch thingy. The quote on it says, the beautiful thing about books was that anyone could have opened them. V.E. Schwab. And I'm assuming by the kind of musical notes and everything featured here that this is probably a quote from this Savage Song. Yes, it is inspired by the Monsters of Verity series and the artwork is from Stella Bookish Art. That is really cool. It's kind of got a plasticky feel, but I think it's a really nice size, which is cool. 
So I'll have to figure out a use for this one. Oh, okay. So we have this gorgeous thing. Keep me. The illustration has a bunch of roses and a dragon. So it's kind of like a pencil case type thing, a tin pencil case. And this was designed by Mal Maledro Craft Co. You know your bookmarks will be safe with this dragon guarding them. Oh, that is epic. I am definitely going to make much more use of this actually housing some bookmarks rather than pencils because as you can see, I have a lot of bookmarks lying around. Oh, we have an umbrella. That's really exciting. I kind of go through umbrellas quickly because I managed to lose them. So I can always use another one. Oh, wow. Okay, the color scheme of this makes me think it might be for Strange the Dreamer. I definitely have a Strange the Dreamer umbrella. Oh my god. It says dream up something wild and improbable and then it also has the moth as well. That is so cool! I mean at some point I will definitely be making use of this but I'm just gonna have to be extra careful of not losing it because I do not want to lose this. I love all things Strange the Dreamer so this just makes me so so happy. Next up we have lip balm, lip scrub. Oh, very nice. Nectar of the Gods. Peach and honey lip scrub. Oh, that sounds delicious. Oh, that's really nice. Definitely fruity. Can definitely smell the honey in that. I just put lipstick on, so I'm not going to actually use it. But this, I'm really excited to give a try. Oh, this is so exciting. So we have a set of bookmarks designed by Lesia Blackbird. I love, love, love her illustrations. You know, all like the little character cards for Strange the Dreamer, that series. They were designed by Lesia Blackbird. And we have these epic character bookmarks featuring the characters from the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series by Lainey Taylor, which I have not yet read, but it is on my list to read this month. We're doing a Daughter of Smoke and Bone series read along. Myself, Red, Cassie and Chloe. So I'm going to be knowing all about these characters very, very soon. We've got a couple of little slips here. So this one is the Gods and Monsters photo challenge. And then we have the theme for the next month in March, which is Adventure Awaits. I'm really, really excited about that one. But the other goodies we have, so it looks like we've got a little sampler for The Binding by Bridget Collins. I honestly have no idea what this is about, but I keep seeing it everywhere. Oh wow, there's also a sneak peek for The Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu. This is a new series featuring Magnus Bain and Alec Lightwood. I really need to catch up with the Cassandra Clare books. I'm so behind. Oh, this is beautiful. So we have a notebook. It's silver, super metallic, and it also has this really gorgeous red line illustration of this owl. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And on the back, it says the Orphanage of Gods, which I'm assuming is the book that it's tying into. So we have this gorgeous little case. It says, I don't want an easy life. I want a meaningful one. Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nyan. Oh, we have some chopsticks. That's really cool. They've got this really cool pattern on them. So gorgeous. Okay, I'm so happy about that. Oh, and now we have reached the author letter and book at the bottom of the box. Oh my god, it has sprayed edges. This is gorgeous. The book included in this month's box is The Orphanage of Gods by Helena Coggan. We also have a letter from the author. But oh my gosh, how stunning is that cover? I'm a huge fan. It's signed by the author as well. I have not seen this book anywhere. So I'm really curious to see what it's about. So basically there was a revolution. Humans rose up and pretty much wiped out the gods. The children of the gods were left behind and they've been imprisoned in an orphanage. And any who show signs of divine power mysteriously vanish during the night. No one from this orphanage has escaped except 17 year old Hero who is finally free. This sounds really cool. I'm super excited about it. If any of you guys have managed to read this yet, I'd be super curious to hear what you think of it because that sounds really interesting. So that was the Gods and Monsters box from Illumicrate. Again, a huge thank you to Illumicrate for sending this my way. Some really exciting goodies in here. I really like that we've got some super handy items in here as well that I'm definitely going to make use of, like the chopsticks and the umbrella. And of course the tin for my bookmarks. So, oh! Last but certainly not least, we have the February Fairy Loot box. Let's take a look inside. Oh my gosh! First up, the content card, which has this gorgeous illustration. We have a girl in a ball gown here. There's a castle in the background. The theme is Beauty and the Beast. I love Beauty and the Beast so much, so I cannot wait to see all of the Beauty and the Beast items and the Beauty and the Beast related book included. Let's just jump straight in. So first up, it looks like we've got 
something made of fabric. Oh, this feels kind of interesting. It's, it's kind of fuzzy, but not furry. Almost, I don't know how to describe this material. Oh, it looks like we've got a blanket. So we have this blanket with a kind of painting design of Beauty and the Beast in this massive ballroom. Wow, that's really cool. I love the style of that painting as well. It's so gorgeous. Though the edges haven't been hemmed or anything. Well, that's not gonna fit on my bookshelf, so I'm just gonna pop that down right there. So next up we have a cup. Of Sorry, I'm just getting the straw out. <laughs> I literally just bought myself one of these because I've been having a lot of iced coffees at work, but that just means I can keep that cup at work and then use this one at home or when I'm out and about. The design, of course, is Beauty and the Beast related. We have the rose in the jar and on the back it says, tale as old as time. And then we have all these really cool glittery bits. That is so extra. <laughs> I kind of love it. That's really cool. Oh, I totally forgot to see who these were made by. So the large wall tapestry, it's a tapestry, not a blanket, was designed by Sweet Sequels and then the sparkly tumbler designs by Taraja and KDP Letters. Next up, we have a Beauty and the Beast trinket tray, it says, designed by Drop and Give Me Nerdy. Oh, wow. That is Stunning. Oh, that's so funny. So on the quote is, if it's not Baroque, don't fix it. That is so cool. I really, really love this. So obviously we have this little tray here. And of course we have a rose pin until the last petal falls. A fairy loot exclusive. Who is this from? Icy Designs. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. We also have some perfume. That's really cool. So this, <laughs> this is called Tea with Mrs. Potts, Vanilla and White Tea Scented Perfume. Oh, I'm a huge fan of that. That's delicious, delicious. It's also vegan and cruelty-free from Little Heart Gifts. Next up, we have the two tarot cards that are included in every box. The first fandom that Fairy Loot has been working their way through is A Court of Thorns and Roses. So we have two more characters from this series. This month, we have Resand as the Emperor and... Morrigan as Judgment. As always, these are just so, so stunning. The illustrations are from Emily Haynes, and I do love the illustration style. They're so gorgeous. Beautiful. Ooh, okay. So we also have a bookmark, which on one side has City of Brass and the other Kingdom of Copper. We also have a, an art print of Belle, and she's reading. Oh, I just love all the little details with like the sun shining through and all the dust motes. Oh, it's so pretty. This illustration was done by... And the Retta. We've now reached the bottom of the box, so we have the book and all of the related goodies. <sighs> oh my god, no way, that's so cool. Oh my god, oh my gosh. So the book that was included in this month's box is A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Camara, and it has this really cool holographic spine and foiling for the text. This is so pretty. There's also a bookmark. We of course have the Fairy Loop bookmark that has the illustration from the content card. There is an art print featuring the characters from the book as well as a letter from the author. There is Fairy Scoop, which does feature an interview with the author and has a little bit of information about next month's box, which is the three year anniversary for Fairy Loot, which is very exciting. But we also have this epic die cut book plate for A Curse of Dark and Lonely that's shaped like a rose. Amazing. And back to the book. Let's just go back to this book because this is stunning. Oh wow. I love it when they have a ribbon bookmark included as well. That's always just super special. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling or reimagining. We have Prince Ren who has been cursed and is pretty much responsible for the destruction of his kingdom because every autumn he turns into a beast and goes on a rampage. Then we have Harper who is living in the modern world. She has cerebral palsy and sees someone getting attacked on the street decides to intervene and magically gets transported into the world where Prince Ren is. So this I've been itching to read. I will get to this very, very soon, but you guys, I just love how, oh, look at that. How stunning. That was everything included in the Fairy Loot February box. Again, a huge thank you, Fairy Loot, for sending this my way. I'm always so, so grateful for all of the subscription boxes. And this was a delightful, delightful month of boxes. So I'm really, really excited. Again, if any of these looked good to you, you want to learn a bit more, then I'll have the links down below as well as information about the coupons that you can use. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you very soon in a new one. But until then, I will talk to you all in the comments. Bye!